the pregnancy um, in, in a baby that has urinary obstruction depends on what is really going on with the baby. I, I would say that you have to be prepared at the beginning of the diagnosis to really have a good number of ultrasounds, taking a look and really to establish if, um, what the, if we can figure out what the etiology or the reason for the kidney disease um, really is. Is it truly an obstruction? Is there something else going on that's creating um, urinary dysfunction of some sort? Once we have a good idea of what's going on, that determines how the baby is followed. Usually what that involves is frequent ultrasounds at least once a month, sometimes more than that if we need to watch the amount of urine that the baby is making more closely. Another important thing that you, everybody really needs to think about is how much uh, of an association exists between having a baby with some sort of a urinary obstruction and the risk of a genetic disorder. And the way to determine that is with amniocentesis. Ultimately, there is a high association between most of these type of obstructive disorders and a genetic problem. And so it's important to consider that. And we do want to discuss that with you at length. Once you know that the baby is genetically normal, that helps a lot in terms of planning and it helps a lot in terms of understanding what the disease really is. We also will just keep a close eye on the baby. Oftentimes that will involve non-stress tests, which are just simply tests listening to the baby's heart rate, usually once a week, making sure the baby's doing well, and close ultrasound as you get toward the end of the pregnancy. Ultimately, we will determine how you're best delivered based on how the baby's doing. Most often, this will be a vaginal delivery.